I was wondering if we could shift gears a little bit. Um, uh, but it is a body of work in terms of, especially with you talking about triangulation, right. and talk about the um, uh, the life uh, element, the, the the diaristic element, and I'd like to get at it by a, a kind of a strange a, a strange angle um, in terms of how you title the work. Right. That the works are done. Uh, it's a convention of the of the computer. It gives it the date. The, the, date the software stamp. automatically date stamps as a title the image. Right, so. the, the the pictures, um, and so you decided, you know, in using that, right, right, and then showing the show is just strict chronological right. order, uh, but that does a, a very Ankawara ish kind of thing about turning the photograph into an index right. for this past, right? And right. A lot of you know language we, about we spoke about index, that right. the other day. I think. Yeah, but it's only. Uh, uh, the idea of not doing that intentionally, <laughs> you know, not going forward with that. Like, it's not like this is part of the project, right, right in this uh, 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 deterministic way. No, I didn't, I didn't cook it up in advance. Right, in advance, right. But then with that, like, to look at the pictures as capturing, it's like, you know, of the many things one could remember or right. saw on a given day that, you know, one three eleven. That you know, here is a memory or something from that. So the, on the one hand, have a, you know, a diaristic quality when dated that way, mm -hmm. but then in another way, they are somehow um, uh, uh, drained of a biographical. While I think they also can't help but talk about your life. People yeah, I think that, I, you. I don't know if I can yeah. add to that. I think that's exactly correct. You know, yeah. you know the, but, the, the technical, the index of the passage of time that you could relate to a history of conceptualism on Kawara, for example, or Douglas Hubler. You also mm. have what seem like fairly conservative photographic images that record a kind of scene. Mm -hmm. um, and those two things are together. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I think constitutive, as I said, of one another. You but, know? In terms of how, how, but they're not souvenirs. I mean, the, so right. So nothing is there for for sort of purely sentimental reasons. Part of the it, sentiment is that it has to be a good picture. It, it, right. right? It, it's it's right. funny. That's what I was referring to. When it not, not drain, but it doesn't feel like it's like when I say diaristic or something like, oh, I want to capture this for the sake of memory. Right. Right. It doesn't. It feels in. Well, but but maybe memory is the the off term there. I mean, again, <laughs> it's a process in the moment. So maybe it's. And maybe capture is the off term. term right. You know, maybe it's I want to involve you. I think you're beautiful. I want to take your picture. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that's probably more mm -hmm. correct. You know, not so that I will have it to sort of rub my little fingers over later. Although I do that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I mean, but, yeah, but because out we're there. sharing like something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I mean, I spoke about those Sears pictures as kind of armoring. You know, yeah. I mean, how can you take formalism and make it not an armor, but like, we, uh, as my great friend Doug Ishar says, uh, quoting Roland Barthes, a, a little bit of, a little, a little bit of formalism takes you away from history. A lot takes you back. <laughs> right? That's great. So how how can that happen? You know. Yeah.